professional middleweight boxing action. Introducing to my left, weighing in at 161 pounds, his professional record, 16 victories, no defeats, with 12 KOs from Santa Monica, California, the Mac Attack, undefeated Jeff McCracken. McCracken. And his worthy opponent in the red corner to my right, wearing white trunks with multicolored trim. At 159 and one quarter pound, his record, 34 victories, one defeat with 31 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the Motor City Cobra, Thomas Hearn. Ten rounds of middleweight boxing well, there action. there is no Ready? doubt as to where this fight is coming from. As yesterday, it was a Mancini crowd. Today, it is a Thomas Hearns crowd. The referee is Harry Papa Carolomba. Stay there until I tell you to come back. That is a Greek name, I'm told, and a beauty indeed. Did a heck of a job on that, Tim, I'll tell you that. That might be the last mention he gets. Now, I want you to protect yourselves at all times. Do you have any questions? We do not have the saving by the bell in this state. You understand? Any questions, either one of you. Good luck. Come out of the bell. Scoring is by the three judges at ringside, Stuart Kirschenbaum, Rose Grable, and Chip Acey, as we see the tail of the tape, McCracken coming in at 161, Hearns at 159 and a quarter, just under the 160 limit, and they were allowed an extra pound for this 10-round bout, scoring on the 10-point must system, nine or fewer, per round there can be 10, 10 even rounds, three knockdowns, and any one round would stop the fight. This is round one, Thomas Hearns in white, Jeff McCracken in red. Tim, it's amazing with Thomas Hearns. He was a welterweight in his, when he boxed Sugar Ray Leonard. Now he looks like a light heavyweight. He is big on top, big and strong. Well, Gil, as I was telling Tim, uh, Tim Tommy can carry that kind of weight because he's tall and he's lean. So that, that kind of weight won't bother him at all. Jeff McCracken, who calls Joe Frazier his idol, says that's the man who got him started boxing when he saw the first Frazier Ali fight. Likes to think that he fights that kind of style. He wants to bore in, get to the body, knows he has to get inside. He'll take a few to get there if he has to. And he can count on taking a few of those long left jabs of Tommy Hearns. Well, McCracken, when he comes in, he must keep that right hand up because Tommy fades back with that left hook, that common left hook. 24-year-old former Marine fighting out of Santa Monica. At the moment, Tom, Thomas Hearns' jab is right on the mark, Tim. And as Ray said, he'll set him up with a big punch with that jab. There's the combination, first solid one scored by Hearns, the left and the right. Thomas Hearns, born in Memphis, Tennessee, one of nine children. Boxing star of his family and certainly of the whole state of Michigan. Calm start for Thomas, trying to land that big right hand, setting it up carefully with the jab. Fighting a poised fight. Heavy favorite, of course, against the relatively little-known Jeff McCracken, but McCracken has yet to taste defeat as a professional. McCracken has to get more uh, head fights, because what he's doing, he's walking straight and towards Tommy, and Tommy, with that reach, is going to continue to land punches. Hearns scored with another combination of the head in the last exchange. Under a minute to go, round one. Back and nearly as tall, just about three quarters of an inch shorter than Thomas Hearns. Giving away about four or five inches in reach, however. seconds to go round one. McCracken so far unable to get inside. That's where he wants to be. And that was his game plan. Oh, Hearns is sharp shooting with that jab, Tim. He's keeping right on the end of that left hand. Very, very effective punch. Wow, left hook by Hearns missed. Final seconds of the first round. Scheduled for 10 here at Cobo Arena in Detroit. Round number two scheduled for 10. Thomas Hearns in white. Jeff McCracken in red. A middleweight bout. 
with Hearns coming in at 159 and three quarters. We talked about the Kraken's amateur career. Of course, Hearns was an outstanding amateur. Started boxing at age 10 in 1976, the National AAU and National Golden Glove finalist. Won those titles in 1977 and turned pro in 1977 after winning 155 amateur bouts. Ray, you were very effective against Thomas Hearns inside. How is this kid going to get in there and start working to the body? Well, Gil, what McCracken has to do, he has to do more fame, get inside. He, on occasion, he's able to land that overhand right, but he's going to need more than that to stop a Tommy Hearns. Body shots will be a factor here. Well, I know you were very effective with those body shots. Hearns so far able to keep McCracken at bay. In fact, the only solid punch landed by McCracken was that right-hand lead moments ago. If you give Tommy Hearns a, if you're a stationary target, Tommy Hearns, he can peck you all night long. But with McCracken, he's a big guy. He's a durable opponent. So he, I think what he's trying to do, discourage Tommy's, uh, as far as power is concerned. But that's the wrong approach. Well, eventually it's got to take its toll, no matter how much you try to shake it off, you're still getting hit. Well, he's trying to out-jab Tommy Hearns, and Tommy Hearns has got that jab that's like a snake coming out there. Oh, solid right hand by Hearns. That wobbled McCracken, and he's in trouble. Big right hand, but McCracken battles back. Tim, that's what he's noted right for. Hand. McCracken is known for that, Tim. Now he drives Hearns into the ropes and scored with a good short right hand. McCracken with a good punch. Then we, we mentioned that he gets hit, but he punches back when he gets hit. No big punch for himself, but he takes a great wallop. And he took one in. Action heating up in round two. Hearns with another combination. Under a minute to go in the second round. Tommy has to be very cool when he's inside with McCracken because, as Gil was saying, McCracken comes back when he's hit, and when he's resting when he's hurt. The worst place for McCracken to be is where he is right now, out there at long range. Even when he was hurt, when he rushed Tommy Hearns and started the punch, he was more effective. He can't stay out there if he picked apart. And there it right is. hand to the chin and another right hand. After the left of the body, and McCracken in difficulty again, taking the eight count. He's on his feet. Jeff McCracken, a right hand, a left of the body, another right hand. He tells the referee he's all right. We're in the second round, under 30 seconds to go. Hearns trying to finish him off. McCracken showing his medal. Another combination lands. Combination by Hearns, including an uppercut. McCracken still on his feet, another right hand land. Hearns firing away, McCracken and down. He goes, it looked like he was pushed into the ring. They're rolling it a knockdown. And he's taking a standing eight count. His handlers are. They didn't hear the bell, Tim. The referee didn't hear the bell. He's we supposed to be able to sit down. We didn't hear the bell either. The round is over. And the handlers came in, but the referee did not hear the bell. Well, shades of yesterday in Warren, Ohio, at the end of the sixth round, the Mancini stopped Espana. And Bracken getting some work in his corner, but this fight is still underway. Let, uh, underway. Let's go back to round two and see the knockdown. Well, here you see McCracken at long range where he shouldn't be, and there he goes. Well, Tom was able to measure McCracken with that left hand. Kept that bay, and here he is, you see it again. Tommy comes home with the overhand right. McCracken is out of it at this point here. Right near the end of the round, he was knocked into the ropes, and it appeared that that was not a real clean shot that knocked him into the ropes, but he did go down. The referee started to count. The bell sounded. The referee didn't hear the bell, but the round was over. And meanwhile, McCracken had gotten to his feet. So we're going to go into round number three. Two knockdowns for Thomas Hearns in that second round. Hearns in white, McCracken in red. McCracken has only been on the canvas once before in his young professional career. And of course, he has never been stopped. He is unbeaten. Never been stopped as an amateur or a pro, Tim. He's been in with some pretty good punches. For example, Dwight Davidson, Alex Ramos, they couldn't stop him. Slight cut over the left eye of McCracken. Burns measuring, measuring, trying to land the one clean blow that would put McCracken away. A good strategy for McCracken would be trying to smother Tommy's punches. That's I right, Ray. That's exactly what he should be doing, but he's out there at long range again. He has to get inside and brawl. That's his thing. 
Third round action, scheduled for 10. Thomas Hearns, third bout as a middleweight. Thomas Hearns just used two feints that I never saw before. I thought he was going to fly. More blood from that cut over the left eye near the bridge of the nose of McCracken. McCracken just unable to land anything against Hearns. A couple of overhand rights, one in round one, one in round two, that's about it. Tim, he's waiting for Tommy Hearns, and he shouldn't wait. That's his problem. But the point to bring out is the fact that this additional weight that Tommy's carrying is not affecting his speed at all. That's right, Ray. He looks great. Looks great. He looks like a light heavyweight. He is a big guy. Big and strong. Does his hand quick. speed look as uh, quick to you, Ray, as it did when he was a welterweight? Well, when I thought of I wasn't there to uh, cooperate with him. But Tommy has tremendous hand speed. For a large guy, it's a rarity. And also, when he's fighting these bigger guys, they're a little slower and they're a little easier to hit. from that cut, the right corner of the left eye near the bridge of the nose of Jeff McCracken. You know, when you're in a fight, you have to have a game plan. Now, I'm trying to figure out just what McCracken's game plan is. What is he trying to do to win this fight? Any idea, Ray? Well, McCracken's methodical fight. He's straight up, and um, I think he relies upon his power. Under a minute to go in this third round. McCracken is trained by Chuck Bodak, managed by Norman Henry. And you need more power for Tommy Hearns. You have to have a strategy. Under 30 seconds now to go with a combination landed by Hearns. Solid left jab there by McCracken, his best jab of the fight, but Hearns coming in. He has to do something different. He has to change his height. He should be bending up and down, going side to side. He stays right there. You Final know where second. he is all the time. Final second. Round number four, Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard, watching Thomas Hearns in white, Jeff McCracken in red. Eddie Aliana working on the cut, McCracken's corner did a good job. That cut in the uh, corner of the left eye near the bridge of the nose. Now a little razzle-dazzle from Thomas Hearns. Very confident because he's been able to, to hit the Kraken at will and not get hurt himself. And he's going to continue to do that, Gil. I mean, Tim, as long as uh, McCracken walk, he's walking in a straight line towards Tommy. Does, he doesn't change his height, doesn't change direction, just coming right in a straight line, right? He can get nailed any time. Hearns trying to load up on the right, and McCracken gets him to the corner and landed some shots to the body. McCracken trying to keep Hearns pinned in there, but Tommy battles his way out. That's a good place for uh, McCracken to have Tommy against the ropes or against the rope, uh, the corner. That's his only chance inside. He, he said in his pre-fight strategy that he was going to get inside, but he's really not making that much of an attempt at it. Well, Gil, he needs to get him, uh, get Tommy in the corner. That was a great exchange. Great exchange from both fighters. He's waiting for Hearns instead of getting off. He's got... Hearns in the Hearns corner, and he lands a good combination to the head. The Kraken's best combination of the fight. Hearns just resting over there now on the ropes, right in his own corner. The Kraken shouldn't be waiting now. He should be punching. That's right. He stands there. He's what I call being stuck in mud. He's waiting, waiting, waiting. Let the hands go. That's what he should be doing. Hearns inviting him in, waiting to counter, but the Kraken now finally starting to throw punches. Hearns back him up momentarily with a right hand. Thomas doesn't seem concerned at all about the way this fight is going. Tim, when you're in there, you always have to be concerned. Anything can happen. You get a cut eye, you can hurt your hand. If you can get a guy out, you're supposed to get him out of there. The Kraken landed a combination again in the quarter. Hearns staying there, under a minute to go. Thomas should not be in that, in that corner. He's getting a little too overconfident. He should carry him back to the center ring because he's so effective there. Again, that big left jab starting it for Hearns, backing McCracken away. You can see the difference of how effective Tommy Hearns is in the center of the ring as he was against the ropes. It's a major difference. More blood from that cut over the left eye of McCracken. Under 30 seconds to go, round four. McCracken also has a cut under his right eye, Tim. His face is starting to break up now. Those sharp punches of Hearns are really getting to him. Maybe a little blood from the nose of Thomas Hearns. The only visible damage on him so far. Final 
seconds now of round number four, scheduled for 10 at Cobo Arena in Detroit. Round number five, Thomas Hearns in white, Jeff McCracken in red. McCracken was down twice in round number two, but Hearns has been unable to catch up with him since then. And while we scored the fourth round for Hearns, it was also McCracken's best round when he forced Hearns into the corners twice and he did his best scoring. Tim Ryan with Gil Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard, live on CBS Sports Sunday. Next week, Alexis Arguello and Kevin Rooney at 140 pounds with Arguello moving up in weight, like Thomas Hearns has, and you'll see that on CBS Sports Saturday, 4.30 Eastern Time. McCracken trying to load up with the right hand, never landed. McCracken needs to go to Tommy's body. He's yet to throw a body punch. Tim McCracken does not have the reputation of a big puncher. <clears throat> not at all. He's known as a body puncher and what he calls the Mac attack, but uh, he's not either been trying it or able to get inside, one or the other. Thomas is doing a paint job on him now, Tim. Michelangelo job. Well short with that right hand. My experience with Thomas is when he worked that jab to the body to the head. He's trying to set you up for an overhand right. He has good concentration, doesn't he, Ray? Really sees his target. Very good concentration, too. Talk about him fighting at 154. Wilfred Benitez, that one uh, just talked so far. Marvin Hagler, middleweight championship bout, also in the talk stage. Be interesting watching Thomas Hearn's career. Hasn't been getting much work. Hasn't been in the ring since February. Against Geraldo here on CBS. Under a minute to go. Round number five. McCracken gets in position to throw a shot to the body, but he just stops. Just doesn't get off, Ray, that's, that's right. He has to get off first. And then he should go right back and stay there. Instead, he's right back outside again. You know, Gil, it seems though McCracken has to set up before he throws a punch. Well, he's always been known as a brawler. His, his best thing he's been able to do is take a great punch. Never been knocked out. Landed a right hand of the chest that backed up Hearns momentarily. Under 30 seconds to go. We're down indeed under 15 now. Round number five. Hearns missing with a combination. Huge right hand. Final seconds. Round number five. Number six, unbeaten Jeff McCracken against once beaten Thomas Hearns and the White Trunks Hearns in front of his hometown crowd here in Detroit. We have him pitching a shutout through five rounds, two knockdowns in round number two, but McCracken so far has uh, survived but done little else for the last three rounds. does not get McCracken out of there. Of course, uh, there will be some observers who will wonder about his power as a middleweight. Well, I don't have any uh, questions about Tommy in the middleweight division. I think that he has a great future there. The welterweight division is a very dangerous division. McCracken with Hearns on the ropes over there. That's where he's done best. He let, he let Tommy walk right off the ropes that time. Yes, he oh, did. He's hurt again. Right hand by Hearn. Wobbled McCracken. He's in difficulty trying to hang on. Hearn peppering with uppercuts. McCracken doing a good job of grabbing him. Trying to smother those punches and he survives that attack. Tim, I think he has another cut over his left eye. I think it's two cuts there now. Again, backed up with the right hand and that brings McCracken back out to the middle with a flurry. He's fought best when he's been hurt in this fight. Well, that's when he becomes a brawler. I don't think, think McCracken's going to get away this time. A left and a right scored by Hearns. Tommy's steering him around the ring beautifully, setting him up and hitting with everything but the kitchen sink. Another combination with much more blood over the face of McCracken. Hearns trying to knock him down. McCracken just determined to stay up. 
trying to smother the punches, but not throwing any of his own. Tim, that's that Marine Corps spirit. They just don't give up. That's how they make punch himself out. Like to alert our local stations along the line. We'll go to a station break at the end of this round. Unless there is a knockout, there's under a minute to go. Round number six. You know, if you look at, now watch Tommy punches now. They're not as sharp because he threw a lot of punches on McCrack, and McCrack, as durable as he is, was able to take it. It was fan. Got to be a little discouraging to Thomas. And again, we point out he hasn't been in the ring for real since February. Tom, Tim, his mouth is wide open. He's breathing kind of heavily now, Tommy. Expended a lot of energy. There was a slow left hook, Ray. It wasn't that sharp turns left hook just then. And with 30 seconds to go on round six, Jeff McCracken has definitely shown he can take a punch. A solid right hand wobble McCracken again. He was wide open for it. Hearns didn't have everything on it. He does appear arm weary. Final seconds. We'll return with more boxing after this word from your local station. <laughs> Jeff McCracken receiving some more attention on those cuts between rounds. This is number seven. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, Ray Leonard with Thomas Hearns having a lot of difficulty against Jeff McCracken. He knocked him down twice in the second round, and he has certainly been dominating the fight, but McCracken has showed how tough he is. For that sixth round, Tim, I just knew it was over for McCracken, but I'll take my head off to the guy. The guy was really a tough opponent. Hearns showing now some signs of fatigue, as he did in round six. He got arm worry, no doubt about it. The mouth started to show open, and you can see that again already. Had to be a little discouraging for him, right? What does it feel like when you're tattooing a guy like he was, and, and nothing's really happening? Well, when I fought time in the sixth round, I punched myself out of, of very arm weary, and it took me two rounds to uh, get back together. Now let's see what Hearns does here against Jeff McCracken, but McCracken should be taking advantage of that fact. This hasn't been busy enough there. He tried that right-hand lead, and he landed it. The right hand seems up dazed, Tommy. Hearns trying to... The back and should get off hurt. now. He's waiting a little too long to get off. Sometimes you say to yourself, this really can't be happening. Am I hurting Tommy Hearns? I think he did hurt him that time. Seventh round, scheduled for 10. Now, the cracker should be continuing to rush, Tommy. This doesn't get off quick enough, Ray. Again, we'd like to alert our local stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll be going to a 30-second station break. Left hook landed from McCracken. A little blood from the nose of Hearns again. That was a good shot. McCracken threw to Tommy's body. He should throw more of those. He has to let it all hang out. That's what he has to do the way young Ray Mancini did yesterday. Didn't worry about getting tired. Didn't worry about anything. As hot as it was, he just threw those punches. That's the only chance that Jeff McCracken has in this fight. Well, McCracken is starting to uh, pick up the pace a little bit more. And he's start, starting to throw more body shots now. Left to the body, left to the head, and Hearns countered back with a right hand. It scored. Under a minute to go, round seven. Referee Harry Papacarolumbus has been doing a fine job throughout this fight. Practically invisible presence, letting the two boxers work. Ray, is there any special punch that you'd throw if you were McCracken to get yourself inside? Well, that left jab, and um, he has a stiff left jab here. I think the left jab would get McCracken closer to Tommy, but he, all he does is parries. He keeps it out. He flares it out. Meanwhile, Hearns continues to snap his jab effectively under 30 seconds to go round seven. Snapping back the head of McCracken at will. McCracken has stopped punching. Slipped punches. He just slipped the left jab and he didn't punch. But a great opportunity. We'll return with more boxing after this word from your local station. 500 ruling. Looking into the corner of the of uh, McCracken and you see Eddie Aliano, a stuff man working on that same cut. And doing a pretty good job here as we begin round number eight. Two weary warriors come out there now, both of them not exactly leaping off the stools, but Hearns in much the better shape. Tim, it's about time, around. it's about time if you're in good condition to get your second wind, and if Tommy Hearns or McCracken gets a second wind, they could really be very, very effective. Bill Clancy with Sugar Ray Leonard, Tim Ryan, live on CBS Sports Sunday, and round middleweight bout, the third of his career for Thomas Hearns. 
You know about that second win, Ray. You, you, you threw quite a bit of punches in the sixth round with Tommy, then you took it easy a couple of rounds, and all of a sudden you were fresh as a daisy again. That's true, Gil. It took me a, about a one or two rounds to, st to really get my second win, and by then, I was good as new. Back and trying to get inside, and again, Hearns jabbing effectively to keep him out. Tim, but what he does, he gets in pretty good position, but he doesn't get off. He doesn't move his hands. He has to move both hands, take his chances. I don't like where McCracken's reaching when he's trying to land punches on Tommy because he, the right hand, he's vulnerable for the overhand right each time. Burns just landed it and reopened that cut. Over the left eye of McCracken. McCracken is starting to look very, very weary and very tired and he's hurt. He's wobbled again on accommodation from Hearns. Legs starting to he's, go under McCracken. He's ready now, Tim. Back to get go much further. Hearns sensing it, banging to the he body. Can't go much the referee further. watching it saying, that's it, he can do no more. Couldn't get the hands up. It is a knockout victory in the eighth round for Thomas Hearns. And a standing ovation from the Partisan Crown in Kobo Arena.